Oh my god, the cops. What's going on? So this is a new thing here. The cops will actually patrol Night City. And apparently I was in their way and they didn't like that. This is 331 responding to my neighborhood. All right, well, now we also got a little example of the NCPD having their comms on the radio now. But you can also do this. Let me just grab my pistol out real quick and you can shoot while you're driving at the cops. So how is that not amazing? You can kind of like focus your aiming on there too. shred the tires if you wanted to. And apparently you're higher, you're wanted level. The more cops will come after you, which is going to be a bit exciting, right? Get him out of here, you damn coppers. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Very much at large. Oh no! I mean, how is this not amazing, right? That cop just saw me. He's turning around. He doesn't like me here. Dude, this is like giving me actually like GTA vibes, right? Where you can just kind of drive around and just cause cool chaos. I got some more friends. Too bad I got you. They are not happy that I'm uh, feeling so much havoc, but uh, I'm definitely enjoying myself at least. Let's grab this car here. Come here. Oh shoot! I don't have enough skill. Oh gosh! Hey, right, I'll take this and get in here. Oh god, this is gonna be the slowest speed chase ever. Oh wait. No! Come on! No, oh, gosh! Oh, no! The cops are so much faster than me! Go! You slow-ass truck! Go see if I can try to evade him. There's a thing now where if you break line of sight, get away from far enough, you'll actually lose your wanted level. So I'm at level 3 out of 5. If you go high enough, you can get to, like, Militech coming after you, which would be, well, not in your best interest. Oh, God! No! Just go! Just go, just go. Okay, I'm sorry, people. You're all in the way. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm just committing mass murder with this. I think I need to speed up. I need to get a faster vehicle here. Give me this. I need it. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Did someone take mine? Apparently, they also worked on the striving in this game as well, where the AI will try to avoid you a little bit more, but right there, I kind of freaked them out, and uh, that's why they're ramming into me. Oh, God. If I could just stay outside the circle of the cops just a little bit longer they're converging way too hard yes and we avoided the cops oh no completely reworked the perk trees that are within this game which is really cool and you can see how now it's got a completely different style of branching that they have with this i was a bit of a net runner myself so i definitely enjoyed some quick hacks basically the way the skill tree works now is that they kind of like over time get more powerful rather than kind of like a lot of like minor passive kind of stuff that doesn't really like affect the gameplay a whole lot but you can see like here for example level one two and three when it comes to the quick hacking stuff and each one of these major beats within the skill tree have their own side additions as well they can link up with other abilities within the skill trees and basically all the skill trees kind of do a similar kind of thing as well i do like also in the menu how you can just fastly swap between the different types of skill trees right and having to back out to the main menu select a new one a lot of the great ui changes i do like how in the tech ability that for the edge runner skill tree it does have an image of david martinez from the edge runners anime which was amazing interesting new perk overclock allows you to use quick hacks if you don't have the ramp but at the cost of your own health and talking about health consumables for recharging your health are now on a cooldown rather than item count so if i hit x right here to use this you can still see that basically you have a two uses but it comes into like a recharge state and so you don't have to worry about managing all the different resources about having to heal up you can just reuse it and just have to worry about the cooldown by the way this is how my character looks right this is before patch this is what my character looks like but i just jumped onto my motorcycle and this is what I look like now, apparently. When did I get that Night City jacket? How did I lose all my hair? No one will ever know. But I reloaded the game and now my character's back. You'll see a big change with the UI here, the mission selection here for your journal. Way easier to read, understand what's going on here. You also break them up into like completed jobs, some side jobs, some more main mission type of jobs as well, which is great. And you can select your mission, like a main mission here, which will show up on the world map, as you can see right there. But now you can actually deselect it, which is like big freaking deal. But just having that UI element off the screen is just so nice. Apparently there's also a bug now where you can just one punch NPCs in this game. How about you? Apparently it's random. Yeah, one punch. And they're just out. They're done. It looks so upset. Like, why would you do that? Sorry. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I feel kind of bad. Dude, you'd hate to go out that way. Yeah, one punch and dead. <laughs> oh my God, look at all these people running from me. <laughs> I'm causing chaos right here. <laughs> just, yeah. I want to test out the swimming in this game as well, since swimming is always kind of derpy. So what happens if you just like jump in here? Because there was like a weird shadow thing that would happen while you were swimming. You can see while swimming, it just looks super janky. Like I don't have a head right now. Like look at the animations while swimming. 
I think I have four sets of arms or something going on in here. It's 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 different for sure. Luckily, this game's in first person. You don't really know that. But yeah, that wasn't Victor head. Just kind of goes all over the place while you're swimming. That's what changed up how quick hacking works a little bit. You can see how you kind of rebalance a lot of the RAM within the game to give you some different options to kind of show if it's traceable and how ready things are and stuff like that. So that's really nice. Give this guy a little short circuit and see what happens here. Oop, you don't like that, do you? Like you see on the screen how like they're tracing your location. That's kind of cool. But what if I just kind of make it so you can't see anymore? Let's make him regret, uh, you know, just being in my way. One like this guy standing here. Can't let him just walk, get away free. I think I just woke up in this game and decided to choose violence. Also, let's talk about choosing violence. Previously with the game where if you had like a weapon out, you pointed at NPCs that were driving, they wouldn't really react. But now you point your gun. They kind of don't like that. They start freaking out a bit. As you can tell, he, this person's getting the heck out of here. How about you people? What do you think? What do you think about this? Save yourself. <laughs> See, much more natural reaction to well, having a gun pointed at you point blank while you're trying to drive. Now, one of the major aspects of Cyberpunk is the crafting, and that changed a lot with this. Where now, you go into say, your inventory, you want to craft up some new items, say like a new gun or something. It only requires one thing to craft rather than having multiple items. It just simplifies the whole process. One great quality of life improvement I really like is that it showcased the amazing animations within this game that if you double click Alt, it gives you the first weapon in spec animation. You can just call at any time you'd like. Cause like they're amazing hey it's so sad to only see them once now i did also pick up this bad boy of a hammer and um we'll see what happens if you put it to good use come here damn <laughs> oh here we go i'm coming for y'all oh my god i'm so slow <laughs> oh my gosh i can't even keep up with them they're too fast i'm too slow oh my gosh there we go smash <laughs> Oh no, this is, I'm literally just shooting fish in a barrel now at this point. A huge change within just the world of Cyberpunk here are how vendors work. That's basically what you go to to level up your character and stuff before you had to go to specific vendors within the world to get you a certain level items. But now each vendor is scaled to your character. So you can just walk up to this vendor right here, see what they have to offer. And all of it is going to be viable for you to pick up and use, which is going to be fantastic. I love this change because as a casual player, I don't really remember exactly where each of the good vendors are. If I see a vendor, I'm just going to go over and try to buy stuff. I'm sure many of you are asking right now, is this the time to jump in and play Cyberpunk? And I would honestly say, yeah. I think so. But we'll dive into details why while I take on the Cyber Psycho. All still area, okay. Just disarm that. This is definitely ominous right here with all these mines just low key, just all over the place. Oh my God. Well, that scared the crap out of me. There's our little Cyber Psycho friend here. Let's start him off with a little short circuit. Why don't we? Okay, he's fast. He's a fast one. Okay, we can take him on. So yeah, I think it depends on what kind of situation you're in. Did you play Cyberpunk like a long time ago, maybe when it first launched, and it didn't really play out exactly how you wanted it to play? You're kind of like, well, I'm going to wait for this game to be fixed before I jump back in and play. But I think now is that time. I really like the quality of life improvements that they made with this update. The, the world feels more alive. Right now, I'm like halfway through my first playthrough. I think I've started this game over probably like four or five times and never actually finished it. Oh my gosh, okay, you're gonna get a grenade too. Oh my, that was a most unfortunate bounce. And we got him, there we go. That's a big thing also that they changed with this update is that now things are scaled to you rather than having jobs that you just literally couldn't do because they were just too difficult, which I always ran to a roadblocks of that. Or having cyber psychos that were just complete bullet sponges and you couldn't actually finish the mission because, well, literally just couldn't kill the bad guy. But now if you just use your skills and your weapons and cover properly, yeah, you could do just fine. Apparently this channel here, 99.9 Impulse, was actually remixed by Idris Elba. In 89.7 here, Growl was actually voiced by Sonic. Asha Gray, if you know who that is. Let's go let Regina know that yes, we did take out the Cyber Psycho for her. So talking about scaling, loot also scales to your character now. So every time you're playing the game, it should just have loot that you are able to use. But talking about if you should jump in and start playing, should you restart your character? Well, the developers themselves did suggest that you should restart a new character with this update because of how drastically different a lot of the changes are. All in anticipation of Phantom Liberty coming out on the 27th, which I'm actually excited about.